Hello and welcome to my League of Legends roundup for April 16th. We have the LPL playoff matchup between Victory 5 and JDG in the loser's bracket. Um, obviously, winner of this moves on in the loser's bracket to towards maybe, I mean, while well, playing in the grand finals. Um, so, Kairos ends up being MVP. Victory 5 won this 3-1, as you can tell. Um, if you haven't watched one of my videos before, I do this every day for all four major regions when they play. Um, so later on today, I will be doing the LCS um, series. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm still undecided as of this very second. If I'm doing this in two parts, obviously, if this is one big long video, it was all done in one part. Um, if I just move the board and it's not on screen, I don't know. So um, don't know that until after I'm done. So um, game one. Is the one that JDG win as you can see here 24 to 18 all four games very LPL style high kills um, very chaotic um, game one there was a lot of chaos in the first 12 minutes we have a lot of action um, v5 go bot to start it off at three minutes there's a skirmish of mid that goes one one at four minutes um, JDG get a double kill out of Yigao two to one to get uh, Mountain Drake at seven then victory five start rolling they go top they go mid JDG get a pick JDG get a second pick, take an Infernal. There's a fight afterwards that goes one-to-one. -one. So as of 12 minutes, there's a lot going on. JDG have two Drakes. Um, Victory 5 then go mid. So now at 15 minutes, they're up 7, 6, and kills. So we have 13 kills in 15 minutes. Um, it's tied in gold. Kanavi is 3-1-3 and three for um, JDG, 100% kill participation. Rookie is 2-1-3 and three for Victory 5. Um, Victory 5 prevent Cloud Soul Point going to JDG at 18 minutes. They'd win a fight 5-3, Fodic with a triple, Yagao and Karsa with doubles. Karsa ends up being MVP of this series. Game 3 is a big reason why he was MVP, which we'll get to. Um, 21 minutes, Victory 5 are up 12-9. to Gold is still pretty much tied. And uh, Fodic is 5-0-3 at the time. Um, so between 18 and 22 minutes, we don't have any kills. At 22 minutes, that ends when JDG go bot. Um... 23 minutes, Victory 5 get a pick. They start a Baron. Um, JDG prevent that Baron 3-2 in a skirmish, so they push them off. That leads to JDG going to Cloud Soul Point. Um, 27 minutes, JDG start pulling away now. They get a kill in mid. They're up 4K gold without even touching a Baron. Um, they reset. Victory 5 force down the Baron and take it under the noses of JDG, which cuts the gold deficit to 3.5K. Um... After they do take it, though, JDG notice. They fight them. They win 3-1, which allows JDG to take Cloud Soul. Um, as of 31 minutes, JDG up 17-16. Yagawa 7-4-5 and five, um, for JDG leading the way. JDG then end at 34 minutes. Hope gets a double kill in jungle. They reset, and then they end Hope carrying. Final score 24-18. to 18. Um, Game 2. Uh, slower early game. We did have action, but it was much, I mean, not as many um, different plays occurring. Um, it was more kind of, uh, well, actually, there weren't a lot of kills in general. So, four minutes, Victory 5 do the same thing. They go top lane. They get rich ahead over 3-6-9. Um, seven minutes, Victory 5 take Cloud, winning a fight. I mean, not winning a fight, taking the Drake. Fight goes one-to-one. -one. Excuse me. Five minutes later, JDG taking Infernal after getting a pick. Victory 5 punishing them with a pick of their own. So as of 15 minutes, it's 3-2, to two, Victory 5. Rookie is 0-0-3 on TF, 100% kill participation. The rookie is making things happen on the champion. And they're up 3k gold, which is a big deal. Because as we said in Game 1, through 21 minutes, gold was pretty much tied. It was anyone's game, despite with all the kills occurring. Where um, in the early game, Victory 5 clearly got out to a lead in Game 2. 16 minutes, Victory 5 get a couple kills in the jungle. Then they get a couple more kills to take the Mountain Drake. Um, 19 minutes, Victory 5 go bot and get a kill. Simultaneously, they also go mid and win a fight 2-0. Um, they then get a pick. And now at 20 minutes, their gold lead has went to 7.5k gold. So in 5 minutes, it has went from 3 to 7.5k. They're up 10-2 to 2 in kills. And Rookie is 2-0-6. Um... Skirmishes would occur. They would go 1-1 one, one in the jungle. Fodic would get a double kill a minute later. And then there would be another skirmish in the river that goes 1-1. One one, but Victory 5 are coming out ahead and taking objectives. They're up 9k gold. 
Um, 23 minutes, GDG take a mountain, victory five, punish them 1 0. That gives victory five prio over Baron, so they're finally able to take it, winning a fight 3 0 with that prio. Um, Carso with a double, that gives them a 10k gold lead. As of now, they just got the Baron, they're up 18 4 in kills, and, and Rookie is 3 0 and 12 for victory five. I mean, towards the end of the Baron, they get a kill in mid, they try and end. JDG force a reset 1 1. During that reset, victory five go to Mountain Soul Point. Um, it would take two more tries for Victory 5 to end. The second time they get, were forced to reset again after a 2-2 fight. Um, but finally at 33 minutes, Rookie got a double kill. Um, ended it. 26-10. I will say Rookie probably over the whole entire series probably should be MVP. Um, but Carson's Game 3, which I'm about to get into now, is, is for the history books. So it has to be, you know, given its due. So... Four minutes in game three. Uh, there's a skirmish in top that goes one to one. Um, three, six, nine, solo kills Rich in top lane and victory five say fine. Well, we're going to go force Drake and they take the cloud. Um, winning a fight 1 0 after. 10 minutes, JDG go top, victory five end up winning a fight 3 1 afterwards. Um, 12 minutes, victory five go top to offset what JDG had done two minutes later. Carson with a double kill. That leads to an ocean. Um, 14 minutes, 369 gets a double kill on Kennen in mid. 369 being the probably the best player for JDG in this uh, series. Um, so 15 minutes, Victory 5 get a kill in the river. They're up 8 to 6 in kills as of 15 minutes. More reminiscent of game 1. Um, slight gold lead, 2K. And Carissa is 5, 1, and 3. 100% clear participation on the Viego. And he was just getting started. 16 minutes, JDG go bot. Um, 18 minutes, Carsa gets a triple. 369 is, gets a double, but it doesn't matter because Carsa's triple overpowered him. Um, Victory 5 go to Infernal Soul Point as of 18 minutes. 21 minutes, Hope and 369 get double kills in the jungle to uh, win a fight 4 1 for JDG. Um, JDG do prevent Soul at 23 minutes, stealing it after losing a fight 4 3 to Victory 5. Carsa with a double. Um, Carsa then kills. Um, Kanavi for diving. Um, 24 minutes after this steal, Victory Fiver up 18, 16 in kills. 3.5k gold. Carsa is 11, 1, and 4 on the Viego. And 369 is 8, 3, and 4. So it is Viego versus Kennen in this um, game 3. Victory 5 want to fight 2 1 and bot at 25 minutes. That leads to an Infernal Soul a little later. Um, 30 minutes of a skirmish in front of the Baron. That goes 4-3 for Victory 5. Carsa with a triple. Kanavi with a double. Um, there's a slight reset because there's not enough people on the Rift to be able to actually do the Baron for Victory 5. They then take it. 7k gold lead. And with the Baron, it would take two pushes. First one, PP God gets a double and bot in a 5-3 team fight win. They reset. And then they win the second time. 5-1. Photic with a triple. Rich with a double in the jungle. Final score 34-24. Carissa ends up with 17 kills by the end of this game. That is an LPL record, regular season and playoffs. Nobody has ever had 17 kills in a game. Um, so he ends up being MVP. Great performance. Um, no better time than the playoffs. And it was it was an exceptional performance on Viego. Um, game four, definitely lopsided. Um First blow come at seven minutes. Victory five going top lane. So the slowest of the four games. Um, Victory five taking Infernal off of that. They then go bot, get a kill. When they do that, JDG say, fine, we're going to take a Rift Herald. The fight goes one to one after. Um, Ten minutes. Victory five go top a second time. Getting rich ahead of 369. It would pay off because a minute later, 369 would be killed by rich in solo lane. Um, excuse me. After the reset, JDG take a mountain. 13 minutes, Victory 5 want to fight 3-2 and bot, Rookie with a double. Rich then solo kills 369 for a second time in 3 minutes. At 14 minutes, he gets it done. Um, they wash him out and kill him after. But at 15 minutes, Victory 5 are up 9-4, 2K gold. Rich is 4-1-1 one, one on the um, Gragas. So Rich doing a fabulous job on the Gragas, probably MVP of Game 4. Or you could argue Carsa and Rookie because they kept going top lane to ensure he got ahead um, throughout even the series, but especially Game 4. Um, 16 minutes of the skirmish in the jungle 1-1 one, one. Victory 5 go bot They get prior over the drake They take a hex tech um, They go bot a second time a minute later 
Um, 20 minutes, they win a fight three L's. They take the Baron, 8K gold lead. They get a kill on the turn after. Um, they're just rolling. Very similar to game two. Um, 21 minutes after taking the Baron in those fights. Victory 5 are up 16 to 5. Rich is 7, 1, and 4. Um, they win a fight 5-1 in mid with the Baron. That puts them up 11K gold. And then they end after the Baron expires 3-2. Um, final score 24-8. I mean, they just completely destroyed JDG, in the, especially game 2 and 4. I feel like game 3, JDG just made it really um, chaotic. And that gave them you know a little bit of time to try and keep up. But Victory 5 looked really, really good in this series. We'll see how they look going forward this final week of playoffs for LPL um I think there's three more series left I think there's one tomorrow and one Wednesday and one Saturday I don't know I don't know I think that they got four more left three more left so excuse me um we'll see what happens with that but um thank you for watching this video if you liked it uh like and subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content yesterday I did a 2022 Asia Games preview, if you will, for what Team China might look like going to the Asia Games um, for League of Legends because esports are in the Asia Games. Um, that is because Team Korea just announced who their 10 players were. I did a video on that too and who I may have picked instead in some areas. But excuse me, if you enjoy that sort of content, I have it on my channel. Um, comment down below if you have any opinions of your own on how Victory 5 looked. Um, JDG are done for the year. What do you think about JDG's prospects after the spring? And um, yeah, thank you for watching this video.